How are we going guys and welcome to Fat Friday Flip. Today I want to talk to you about flexible dieting, what it is and how it can help you achieve your fat loss goal. So essentially what flexible dieting is, is that we set a calorie target or targets for protein, carbohydrate and fat and providing we stick within those numbers, you can eat anything that you like. So what major benefit is, is there's no food restrictions. There's no, you can't have this, you can't have that. No, nope, none of that. Because what people find with diets that is really tough is something we call adherence, sticking to the diet. So the less restrictive we make a diet, the easier it can be to stick to. With that said, this isn't a cue for just binge eating, okay? You can't just have three pizzas a day, with some cake because you will overshoot your calories. Ultimately, it doesn't matter what method you use to lose fat, you must be in a calorie deficit. However, if you do want a piece of cake or a biscuit or two biscuits or a bar of chocolate, whatever it is, just track it and fit it into the numbers. That way you get the sort of sweet thing that you want and you're not constantly craving things because nothing is off limits. So a few little tips that we can go for to help you stick with uh, flexible dieting is one, definitely you start off initially using tracking apps like MyFitnessPal. In my experience, people are horrible at guessing how many calories they've had. So use a tracking app to help you know exactly where you are. If you don't wanna track all the individual, individual uh, macronutrients, so your fat, your carb, and your protein, make sure that you try and hit the protein number that's set, okay? This is for two reasons. When you're in a fat loss phase, the higher protein allows you to keep hold of muscle mass so that as we're dieting down, losing body fat, you're still keeping hold of your shape so you look absolutely fantastic when you're nice and lean and when you're on holiday or in your Christmas party. Another thing would be to get your fruits and veggies in as well because what this does it allows you to hit your micronutrients, your vitamins and your uh, minerals, which is fantastic for a fully functioning, well-working body, where um, aids digestion, and again, the fiber in these things is very, very filling. So as you can see, the major benefit of flexible dieting is that there isn't that restrictive nature to it, okay? If you want those nice things, if you wanna have the dominoes, if you wanna have chocolate, you can fit them in. You can change your numbers throughout the week so you can give yourself a higher calorie day on a Saturday, for example, so you can accommodate these things. Or you can fit in a chocolate bar, some ice cream each day so you feel like you're getting that fix of your sweetness and you're taking away the urge for hunger cravings, which can so often derail people's diets. I really, really hope that helps, guys. If you have got any further questions about flexible dieting, please don't hesitate to comment below and ask. I've also just done a flexible dieting ebook. If anyone is interested, please like and comment below and I will give you some details about it. Have a good weekend, guys. See you later.